What we all know is that disasters are increasing worldwide. Population growth and climate change will likely exacerbate disaster impacts in many regions of the world. In 2003, a major heat wave in Europe that led to a large number of uh, deaths. What happened in Philippines is the uh, Typhoon Haiyan. Hurricane Katrina, which struck the Louisiana coast in the United States in 2005. And the Great East Japan Earthquake Tsunami flowing over seawalls in 2011. There are many good reasons to inscribe to this move. Impacts of hazard events are increasing on a global scale and solutions to mitigate their impact go beyond structural approaches. In this MOOC, we are offering you an insight to nature and ecosystem-based solutions to reduce disaster risk and adapt to climate change. This is the first MOOC that looks at linkages between climate change, disasters and environment, specifically looking at ecosystem management solutions for reducing disaster risk. In this MOOC, you will have four global instructors who will guide your learning. I'm Udo Nian, Senior Researcher and Lecturer at Cologne University of Applied Sciences in Germany. I'm Simone Sandholz, University Lecturer and Researcher in the field of Human Geography, Urban Risk and Resilience. I am Marwa Khalifa from Enchants University in Cairo. My name is Karen Sudmeyer from the United States, working as a consultant with the United Nations Environment Program and a senior researcher at the University of Lausanne in Switzerland. As you follow our course, here's what we will cover. What are disasters, disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation? And where are the linkages with ecosystems? What are ecosystem-based tools and approaches for disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation? What do we mean by resilience in the context of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation? What are the key international agreements, organizations, and initiatives related to disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation? There are no prerequisites for taking this course, just some curiosity and an open mind. I think this is an interesting uh, knowledge and new lesson for us because uh, we have to know how the ecological system works for us. I think if you want to learn some disaster risk reducing or disaster risk management, you have to join with this EcoDR. You will get linked to a global network of experts, practitioners, and policy makers. You will receive weekly newsletters with up-to-date ecosystem-based disaster risk reduction news. And most importantly, you will receive a course certificate upon completion of this course. Anyone and everyone who has a chance to spread the understanding of how all these things must be interlinked and support each other, otherwise it cannot work. That's what I hope everyone can engage in. If you look at the sheer magnitude of the benefits that you can provide from one source of knowledge or information and spread it all across the world so cost effectively, so efficiently through uh, electronic media, uh, it really makes an enormous amount of sense. And in my view, we really haven't used this uh, major marvel of innovation which has taken place. I hope that through this MOOC, we will have contributed to both exciting you and interesting you in a notion that will define much of the future of the development that we will see in the 21st century. So I wish you all the best for this important course. The MOOC was developed by the United Nations Environment Program and the Cologne University of Applied Sciences based in Germany in collaboration with the Center for Natural Resources and Development and the Global University's Partnership on Environment for Sustainability. The MOOC will go live in January 2015 but we are already accepting pre-registrations. Visit our website, themook.net, and join our growing community of experts.